So uh, we've assembled a panel of judges here, Ursula Royteen among them. And Ursula, do you want to start things off now? And are we sure. are we not blindfolding the judges, Jake? What did we decide on the blindfold? Oh, okay, yeah. You have to be blindfolded first. Oh. Yeah, we are going to blindfold. We didn't have any blindfolds. Or can we just, so, for the matter of making it a little bit faster, just shut our eyes really tight? Okay, will you do that? Absolutely. Okay, no peekies? Look. No, huh? Before okay, we do that. Is right. Ursula blindfolded like the rest of us? I actually can't tell. I just don't even know what's happening. <laughs> and I just realized no. something else that it's not going to work about our setup. So we went ahead and in each of the cups that we have the different mac and cheeses, we wrote yeah. numbers or letters on the sides of the cups. Yeah. But we're blindfolded, so we actually can't see what we're grabbing. Okay. Which well, is why I didn't blindfold myself, because all I need to do is look at the Okay, the why letter. don't you go first, yeah, Ursula, and so then you can at... then you can hand the cups to our blindfolded judge. Well, she judges. can't say, I don't know how she's going to tell. Well, okay. what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it up so I can't look inside the cup, nice. and I'm just going to dig in. So okay. this is A. This is mac and cheese A. Oh, my God. Okay. Are we all tasting at the same time? Yeah, let's all, maybe we should, okay. for time's sake, we should all okay. taste. Everybody, everybody have their mm-hmm. A mac and cheese now. Also, mm. some of the letters on the cups might have gotten mixed up, so we might be tasting different things. Mm. Good kick. Mm. It's like making oh. my lips really slippery. Oh, my mm. goodness. <laughs> I hope mine's the A, because this is the best mac and cheese. Okay, I'm going with B now. Yeah, hold on a second. Wait, wait. Do you I like the get... pepperoni. Is it too spicy? Are you guys no, get pepperoni? not for me. Little... That's just right. Big kick to it. I haven't missed a... Okay. The noodles are mm. uh, not quite as firm as I think I would like yeah I, I would probably undercook them a little bit brandy cruz um it's, it's very unique <laughs> i like it i never tasted anything quite like it no you you, you never will again i will say I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a how long did you cook this for because you know when you cook something too long in the microwave sometimes it gets burnt Mm-mm. i don't know if this is yours mm-hmm. <laughs> but whoever cooked this it feels it like maybe it's been sp- a little it has a good spice aaron rose what do you think about uh, mac and cheese a eh? that's a solid first entry okay mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, not not c- condemnation from the from the judges, Kurt, of my mac and cheese. I, I got to say, I actually kind of liked it. Oh. For oh, what it is. Yes. Wait, wait, why? What why? it may or may why not be. Why do you have be. to finish that sentence? Assuming for, for it's not yours. For what it may yours. or may not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dory's yeah. already. Uh, if if the, the person who made this be, started working for us full time as a mac and cheese maker, mm-hmm. I'd be happy. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Holy moly. That's uh there is a future there. That's a high compliment. management, I quit. Yeah. It, it might have been done. it might be us already who did it. We don't know who, okay. who made it. <laughs> is anybody Let's... else's throat burning a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> it's like oh, this it's very spicy. Taste. Yeah, it's real spicy. It's like I can feel it in mm-hmm. my throat. Yeah, it's if, very this, spicy. if this was yours, what would you have used for a kick? How would you have accomplished that kick? Uh, pepper jack cheese, crushed red peppers. <laughs> okay. And I can yeah. taste a little bit of garlic and the pepperoni. In here. Oh, and pepperoni. <laughs> yeah. And pepperoni and the the garlic. Okay, so that's that's mine. We won't play any games. Everybody knows it's mine. Mm-hmm. Okay, now can we go to the Beecher's mac and cheese here? Now we're going to try the classic one here, which is in cup. Okay. I've been waiting to dig in here, Kurt. So this will be my first bite of the is Beecher's. Cup, cup I, I actually don't have any letters on my cup, so I don't know. <laughs> oh boy, this was Weren't a, you in charge of really the cup yeah. lettering and distribution? Okay. Things B, got a little crazy. You can B tell the difference. is the one with uh, vegetables. Uh, no. Uh, B, no, B is the white one. B is the one that's colored like cheese. This is the original one. This is the one that Oprah went crazy for. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody bite into the Beecher's mac and cheese now. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I want to eat 30 pounds of this right now. Can I have that 100 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know for sure it's not Dory's? I don't know that it's not Dory's. Whoever it is, I want 30 pounds of it. You know what? It's, it's oh not gosh. bad, Kurt. It's not bad at all. It's pretty good. <clears throat> it's not as spicy as yours. It's not as spicy as mine. Um, but it's definitely creamy. It's creamier. It's got a, a, a pleasant aftertaste. The it first one a, we tried was a little bit. It's a little gritty, though. A little, a little gritty. gritty? On the what does that mean? Just on the tongue. A little, a little gritty, gritty on the tongue? You say gritty, like do you mean it's grainy? It's like some Parmesan cheese in there. You know that, that texture? It's uh, more. It's that? complex, I think. It is. So the, the, the cheese, like the, you, the first bite you get. There's a little bit of savory, and then there's a little bit of the sweet cream. It tastes really delicious. It's very good. It's very, it very good. good mac and cheese. What type of noodle are we eating? <laughs> Looks like ziti. Is that ziti? Penne. It's penne. Penne, yeah. Okay. All Bar- right. Barilla penne, to be specific. I think it's time to go to the judges oh, here. Are you, are well, you we ready, have, Kurt? We, we have a third one. one. I don't know if that's I'm fair. The third one. Well, that's also a Beecher's. Okay. So mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know we... Mm. I think it's silly not mm-hmm. to try it. It's right yeah. here. Oh, I'll, I'll try some of that. It just doesn't. Have, it has green stuff in it, though. Oh, that's good. And red. Ooh, I like mm. this one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think it's time to go to the judges now. 
It's got kale in it, so it's healthy, right? Totally. Very it's a healthy, healthy mac and cheese. Yeah, very, yeah. very healthy. You, you don't think? even need to eat a salad with it. Okay, uh, Aaron Rose, you've had my mac and cheese. You've had the Beecher's mac and cheese. It's time to cast a vote. Can I combine your spices with his mac and cheese? No. You All have right. to pick one or the other. It's like the 10 point must system in boxing. Uh, then I got to go pick with one or the other. I've got to go with Beecher's. Jeez. Oh, Unbelievable. But I love the spice. The spice was good. Okay. All right. Stephanie Klein from MyNorthwest.com. You've tasted both. It's, it's the Beecher's story. Sorry. Wow. And you know I'm a fan of the craft. Two's, two's On zero. On a late Thursday night, but this is good. It's very good. I'm not denying that. I okay. gotta say, I'm feeling pretty confident at this point. I'm feeling like you hiked the ball over your quarterback's head. Yeah, I'm taking a safety at the end of the game here instead of the beginning. All right, uh, Jake Scorheim, you've tasted both. Um, am I allowed to go with the third option? No. Also a Beecher's? No. Because it's it's got no, a spicy kick that I didn't expect. Apples to apples. Apples uh, to apples. Or Beecher's mm. original Beecher's, fantastic. Unbelievable. You really could. You you don't. Uh, when I first heard the story of Oprah eating thirty pounds, I thought that's ridiculous, but it's so good you could easily see you doing it. Brandy Cruz. Mm. I just feel bad, Dory, because I just love you so much. Mm-hmm. So this doesn't like change anything between us, right? Well, you're still gonna let me come on your show. No, depends on how you vote. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard the vote yet. You can go to the Beechers as well. Okay. She looks like she actually right. feels bad about that. I yeah, do. I that's tell. sweet. Uh, our fifth and final judge is a superfluous vote because it's already <laughs> four zip. But Ursula, but I will say something that'll make you feel better. I don't absolutely I don't need your absolutely pity. Absolutely, I don't need your pity. Both versions, mm-hmm. I would say. Yeah. Okay. That's what makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> However, let's oh. end it there. If However. I were if I were to go to a kids party, <laughs> <laughs> like for say <laughs> six and under. Somebody with no yes. palate. And I had to bring a vat of mac and cheese yeah. for something to cheap to three <laughs> children. I might go with yours. I you think might. yours okay. would win. All right, kids wouldn't eat anything that spicy. You would go with but yeah, mine the, is kids, the spice. Yeah, the kids wouldn't like the spice. But I like the not. spice. Yeah, like after a keg party or something. After a keg party. <laughs> exactly. All right. So and, is it six beer mac and cheese? All those six year old keg parties. All right. Yeah. And Kurt, you are the professional, you are the proprietor. Of the world's greatest mac and cheese. You have won, and I will say, in the court of public opinion, I will offer my contrition because people clearly like yours better. Well, I want to return that by saying, in my mind, your mac and cheese is the third best in Seattle. What's the second? <laughs> our other one. Oh, you're- <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go ahead and put on our website that Dory Monson makes the third, the third best, best mac and cheese that we tried. Wow, okay, that's generous. Oh, I like that. And, and I will put on my blog that Beecher's is the winner of the most important mac and cheese showdown in Seattle history. I, I have to go back and tell people that I have to work harder now because there's going to be a lot more people buying this, I'm sure. You, you know what, though? In, in, in all honesty, and this probably is more reflective of my juvenile, undeveloped, pathetic palate, I actually like mine better. I love yours. Yours is very, very good. Why? How could you even say something like that? Did you try yours? I tried both. It's, it's got a crustiness that's not natural. Oh, it was perfect. And it tastes like it it's was been burnt perfect. in a microwave. And you a know sheen. What? You have nostalgia on your side because this is what you ate growing up exactly. all the time. I did right? not eat that growing up. Sort of oily. We couldn't afford the craft when I was growing okay, up. Okay, well, you had the, the Kroger version exactly. or whatever it was. Yeah, that's exactly right. I had to go generic when I was growing up. Yeah, no, but but I also won't eat Asian food though. Yes, Brandon. You know what I appreciate though? What? That you took this box thing and you made it into something different. I made it my own you dog. You really stepped it up. Exactly. Let's not give him too much credit for cutting dose up pepperoni. Of- Dory love, but I am sprinkled with Dory love. I am here to <laughs> declare to our to our widespread audience that the winner of the mac and cheese showdown, and reaffirmed as the world's best mac and cheese is Beecher's mac and cheese. Congratulations, Congratulations Kurt. Nice job. Nice Woo! to be done. Yeah, he was sweating. He looked really I was, nervous. Yeah, I really was sweating. What? That I think might it have been the crushed peppers. That might have been Dory's yeah. mac and cheese. <laughs> I I just want to.